So geolocation services and connectivity, in particular indoor location services. Our Sabre Labs team trialed Wi-Fi and iBeacon technology this year and they found some really interesting use cases. They created a working prototype to show how location-based data could help airlines locate passengers and provide real-time information to get to a gate quickly. This kind of use benefits both the airline and the traveler, so it's really a win-win. So Internet of Things is where every single device as we know it is actually connected to the internet or to the cloud. Right now a, a wearable device needs a smartphone to connect to the internet. It needs the smartphone's intelligence to deliver what, what it's supposed to do. And the wearable device is merely an extension of your mobile phone. But when we talk about Internet of Things, every single device is actually connected and this brings all the benefits of the powerful service that we have in the cloud to perform really big calculations and, and, and just bring a lot of data power to the mobile devices. Through the cloud they will actually be able to communicate to each other. So let's say that you're running low on milk in your fridge, the fridge will actually send a notice to your local uh, supermarket and the supermarket will know that it's time to deliver milk to you. Let's say that I am uh, using uh, one of these uh, health tracker devices. I'm sleeping with it because I want to know if I get enough sleep and stuff like that. In the concept of Internet of Things, this device will actually send a message to my coffee machine and say Joe Kim is awake so it's time to put on the coffee. I strongly believe that anyone can own the traveler by using this cutting-edge technology whether it's wearables or mobile. I think you simply have to disrupt yourself because if you don't someone else is going to disrupt you.